I am back with Mr. Wow Crendor at long last, a long requested thing, and we are checking out the very first Dragonflight dungeon for the very first time together. Say hello, Mr. Crendor. Hello, Mr. Crendor. There he is, dude. You guys have been asking for Crendor to be back on the channel for a long time, and there he is, and I just remembered I've, I'm the tank, so I should probably start pulling. Oh yeah, I guess you are the tank. I'm the yeah. Page. My sound is actually really loud, so I'm gonna turn that down. <laughs> All right. So hopefully these guys can, you know, hear you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You What's think people have add-ons to see my DPS? Because I really hope they don't. Yeah, I hope they don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've I haven't tanked a dungeon uh, since. Uh, let's see. It's been a long time. Let's put it that way. Um, so I'm a little scared, I admit. I'm a little uncomfortable. My my knees are weak. My palms are sweaty. There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous. But on the surface, mm -hmm. I look calm and ready, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, do we go left or right? That's up to you. You're the tank. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to go left. <laughs> because everybody just looked left. So we're going to go this yeah. way. <laughs> Um, uh, th th I, I guess there's going to be no sound in. The well, I'll, I'll turn my wow sound back on later, but uh, yeah. not right now. <laughs> but I yeah, hear sound. Yeah, there you go. Yes. And just uh, use your imagination if you're. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put some like happy music in at this part or something. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Don't knock me off. Oh, wow. That was scary. Oh, geez. Thunder and jazz. Uh, but yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't done a video together in a while. Not since I went to Chicago and I uh, stayed yeah. with you and we did that whole like wine and cigar thing. That was a good time. That was very good, good time. wine. I had cigar. Yeah. Have you smoked any cigars since then? Uh, I smoked one on a, on the day I got married. Oh, really? What yeah. was that like? Do you remember what you smoked? I have no idea. My dad was like, I got a cigar. Do you want to smoke one with me? And I was like, yeah, I will. Nice. And so we did. And uh, it's pretty good. Was it like Have a dark you, looking cigar or more that was light a lighter looking? one? Okay, so it was a Connecticut. Yeah. That's I, good, man. Is Connecticut like a weaker cigar or something? Or uh, typically, yeah. I mean, it depends, you know, obviously what is in the, uh, like the filler, like, you know, what's on right. the inside, you know what I mean? Um, because it might have like a light Connecticut wrapper on the outside, but it might be strong on the inside, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I see. But, uh, yeah, man. How have things been since then? Like with YouTube uh, and Twitch yeah, and everything? Yeah. I got what? For that, I gotta, I gotta reverse it. What about wine? Have you had any wine? Have I had any wine? Uh, yes, actually. For my birthday this year, some dude bought me uh, a big old bottle of wine because he didn't know what to get me. And I was like, oh, this is the perfect gift. And he was like, really? He's like, you like wine? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what was it? Do you remember? Uh, it's right behind me. It's called like a shore side wine or something. Shore side. Yeah, something like What's that. A red or a white? It's a red. All right, hold on. Let me use my douchey wine app to see if it's good or not. Okay. Uh, so you're over here like side. checking out wine. I'm over here terrified that I'm gonna like wipe this group. No, this is the the experience. DPS look up wine while the tanks like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. I don't even know my hotkeys. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I don't even remember the last time I played a Blood Death Knight. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a wine douche. What I yeah, mean. yeah, yeah. I hear um, you. Shoreside Red Blend is it red? Got palm trees? Yeah, that's it. Was it? It's a three point three, so it's not good, but it's not bad. Sure. It's like your standard. How much is it? it was like twelve bucks. It's like your yeah. standard twelve dollar bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much paid for, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys got like absorb shields. What do we do? Uh, just fight through it. I guess we just go home. Oh, there we go. We got it. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm just a wine douche. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, but no, like, t tell me about like how's uh how's YouTube and streaming been going? Give the give the people an update. I'm still yeah, working so, on my uh, sound over here. Oh, it's all but, good. I got you. So uh, five percent. There we go. With uh, YouTube, I've been having a great time. Pointless top tens have come back full force. Been doing one every uh, every two weeks, pretty much. Nice. Uh, I did pointless top ten rivers, pointless top ten things in Azure Span for the new expansion. Uh, did pointless top ten fountains, pointless top ten bears. Been rolling. Nice, That's been dude. great. I love it. That's probably my favorite series to make right now. 
Hell yeah. And uh, then just been doing some other, you know, World of Warcraft, Blood Bowl stuff. And then on stream, just been streaming, doing some Pokemon, Kaizomon, mm -hmm. Ironmon challenge. Been yeah. Wacky wild, but. Kaizomon? Kaizo Ironmon. Kaizo Ironmon. Like, did you just cast a Harry Potter spell at me? Like, <laughs> the hell Kaizo are you talking Iron about? Mon. Ka it sounds like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> uh, the way I explain it is. Imagine Pokemon and then take out all the things that are fun or help you in the game. <laughs> and that's Potions it. and okay. Yeah, and like you, you, you play it in WoW? You could maybe do it in WoW actually. I don't know. Oh, so you actually do this in Pokemon? Yes. Okay, uh, there's an elephant. <laughs> there is an elephant. It's uh a crazy okay. Magma elephant. Magma tusk. Does yeah, everyone yeah. know the tactics? Because I sure uh, don't. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay. I'm casting magic missile. Uh, so I'm going to assume he, uh, like, elephants charge. Like, yes. you know, in real life lore, like that. Oh, he's, he's going to do a lot of spray. Yeah, watch out. He's going to hit me. I'm losing okay. threat, apparently. I'm, I'm retaunting him. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Th this is a heroic, by the way. We're not even max yeah. level. We're doing a heroic. I don't know if this is a, it's yeah. supposed to be. We're doing okay. Yeah, see, I told you he charged. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh he dude. did charge. Now he's Volat using volatile mutation. Oh, he's got tentacles. Uh oh. First we got the the dragon furries, and now he got tentacles. Like, I mean, I know where this is going, man. <laughs> this is a great expansion so far. Mm, it's hitting on all my fetishes. Oh uh, yeah. He's gonna charge again. <laughs> oh man, yes. I hope he spits in my mouth. Yeah, dude. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> I hope he lets me smell his feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's my World favorite. Crap. Spit feet. my mouth, smell my feet. <laughs> um, that's yeah. 2025. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Where's the healer? I'm going to have to ice block. I sp uh, the healer's dead. Wait, I'll use uh -oh. my power on him. Oh, and I okay. can't use my power. Well, the thing's almost dead anyway. Oh, okay. Wait, can I do... Uh, the healing potion. I'm not... I, I don't even know where the healer died at, so I can't raise ally him. Okay. So I'm that's fine. I'm a I'm stuff. I'm literally a blood death knight. I cannot be killed. Okay. Yeah. So we're we're fine. I'm gonna use this. Okay. I'm just popping stuff. <gasps> Lua nice. error. What do we get? Oh, yeah, Ooh, I got, that I got pants, dude. <laughs> I got teleported away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. My favorite loot. Why can't I use Ray's? Oh, it needs thirty runic power. Oh. I say. I got a floppy uh -huh. molten ear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> floppy Sick. old near three yeah, third wait i had it yeah why am i stop that so these pants are t a slight upgrade i guess okay whatever oh huh. it's fine come on healer heal me mm -hmm. here it comes I'm at how, how am i doing as a tank so far i mean pretty good we killed a boss yeah and no one of importance died so that's good yeah and nobody's yelled at us yeah. Maybe they recognize us. Maybe like, dude, that's Nixie. I'm like, oh, that's Nomasaurus. That's got to be Crandor. You know? It's got to be. It's gotta Nomasaurus be was actually my uh, my first ever video made. Or what, oh, really? second? First or second. I didn't know that. Yeah. I made it's a hard, a hard gnome life. Hmm. Back nice. in 2009. I've actually been uh, making Machinima again. Oh. Yeah, like at the... Like I had an idea, like um, you know, you know, for those of you that are uh, you know, fans of my channel, like uh, I haven't been streaming on Twitch lately. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why, but mostly for health reasons and stuff. And mm. I've just been more focused on the YouTube side of things. And uh, this is a this is a big scary drop. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness, Blizzard! Like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kicking me in the balls here man it's scary um so yeah i uh yeah i've been more focused on youtube and you know i had this idea recently where i was like well you know let's what if i like started my videos with like a short machinima video like you know uh, 45 seconds like one minute or something just a quick like little gag or something mm -hmm. and um i started doing that and people loved it they're like oh this is great this is fantastic you know you get like a little bit of nixium stuff and then you get a little bit of or like kind of classic Nixium, the Machinimas, you know, Mukluk and everything. And then you get uh, you're kind of your modern Nixium, you know, me like sharing my opinions on the game and, you know, bitching and moaning as I always do. Yeah. And um, what do you mean? Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm supposed to agree with that. Yeah. That was a joke. 
Anyway, um, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, um, and what was I going to say? And so people have been loving that, and, you know, I'm planning on making more machinima, um, in the near future, um, and just sharing, uh, hold on, I'm a little distracted right now, I can't. This was a terrible idea on my part. Like, I'll just tank. It'll be no big deal. And then I forgot the fact I cannot multitask to save my life. Yeah, it's not good. But yeah, but, you know, I've been making these little machinima videos. People have really been enjoying it. I've been enjoying making it. It kind of slows down the video making process, I admit. Um, because, you know, machinima does take time to make, obviously. Right. I and mean, you know that. Mm -hmm. um, it's like write it and film it and all that stuff. But i think the it's, it's kind of worth it i mean like right now like i have this one video that i'm working on even tonight after we're finished recording um and it's me talking about the drakthir starting experience now everybody has already probably seen the drakthir starting experience by now so when i when i upload this video on wednesday or whenever it comes out you know like everyone's gonna have already seen it so i might be a little late to the party there but I'm hoping that the Nixium fun and the humor kind of makes people say, you know what, I'm still going to watch this video just because I want to see Nixium being a goofball. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of the goal. Um, but I've been having a ton of fun with YouTube, man. Like, And, and now that I've kind of and it, like stepped away from Twitch a little bit, and I've kind of committed to that, like, yeah, let me step away from Twitch. Let me kind of get off the computer uh, a bit during the day, you know, for the sake of my health and stuff. I've been really sick a lot lately. Um it's just been fun you know you're just writing and you're editing and you're creating and drawing stuff and like it's just been it's been great so i'm having a lot of fun and yeah, that's um, what i enjoy most about youtube too is like i even started there. my warhammer uh my warhammer youtube channel which is almost at ten thousand subs now yeah it's kind of just a channel i did as a hobby type thing and so i mean i do ho my warhammer just as a hobby as well and i like i play warhammer i paint i build and everything but mm -hmm. i still was like oh, i missed the creative aspect of youtube so going back and doing pointless top tens again is helping yeah, yeah. Uh, relive and have fun with youtube again and so i think that's there's just some people that enjoy that the most and i think we're those yeah, types yeah. of people yeah i think you know it, it just I mean, speaking only for myself, I mean, but I know, to be fair, you fall in this category too. You know, I'm like a big writer and I'm a, I'm a creator. Um, and so, you know, YouTube really tickles that uh, that creativity, you know, side. And yeah. uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, by the way, did you see that guy in the chat? He's like, hey, anyone got a damage meter by chance? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, uh, no. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, no, sorry, bro. LOL. Uh, <laughs> can't help you there, bro. <laughs> I'm definitely at the bottom. Yeah, well, I might be at the bottom, dude. I don't even know my rotation. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I yeah, don't, I don't know what either. I'm doing. I don't. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what class I'm playing. <laughs> Overseer Lahar. Uh, am I yeah. supposed to? Um, I think I'm supposed to death coil more. Well, then again, death coil is more DPS. So I think I'm just supposed to heart strike and spam blood boil mostly, and keep the mark of bloods up. I just pyroblast, dude. What? Uh, well, here's the question for you. Like, you know, I'm assuming you've been playing the alpha, like, you know, a decent yep. bit. Yeah. Like, what do you think about Dragonflight so far? I've like, honestly uh, been loving it. You know, me too. I'm obviously cautiously yeah. optimistic, like anything, because, you know, every time I play a new thing, I'm like, ah, you know, yeah. it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. But the reason I think I like it the most is I really love the aesthetic. I love yeah. the zone. I love the Northren vibe. Yeah. So like, even if I'm having a bad time, even if I'm like, oh man, this sucks. It's like, I'm at least in a cool zone that I really like. And I like everything about it. Like, yeah, it's the, you know how, when they say when you're sad, it's better to cry in a Mercedes than it is in like a, like a 1972 Toyota. I've never it's heard like that, that before, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Like if I'm having a bad time, I'd rather have a bad time and a really aesthetic kind of cool zone that i enjoy than being in space with whatever the yeah. shit sylvanas like trying to shoot arrows in my eyes that, that's true yeah <laughs> i did i i've loved you know the uh the the north rend like callbacks uh, you know i've loved the uh the the dragon riding has been really fun mm -hmm. it makes explore like just the zones obviously the zones have to be huge as well because i mean you're yeah. you're dragon flying at 950 percent <laughs> flying speed and so yeah. These zones have to be stupid huge. Like I love the, seeing the, the people that like try to learn, they crash into a mountain or some shit. 
oh yeah yeah like dude and it's awesome because i'm i remember uh, i was trying to get b-roll uh of you know the 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 zone azure span or whatever it's called um and uh like i'm flying around this zone getting b-roll and like there's it's so massive like the the waterfalls and the ice mountains and the redwood forests and like the the plains and the beaches and the tuscar villages and i'm like oh my goodness like usually if i talk about a zone and i'm getting some b-roll for it speaking as a youtuber here guys like it, you know, it doesn't take that long you know you go to westfall right. you fly around you see one yellow hill you, you've seen them all you know it's <laughs> like okay like there's yellow hill and then you go you turn your camera around it's a bunch of yellow hills and then it's like oh look a house you know yeah and so <clears throat> um oh wait hold on uh chargath the bane of scales are we ready oh i'm ready I hope you're ready. So I'm going. <laughs> All right. Like, so, yeah, but, but yeah. I think it's one of the biggest zones they've ever made. Like, I, I, up. I think, I think it is the biggest zone. Like, objectively. Yeah. I think they even said that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Dragonflight has been, it's been great. I, I'm not a big fan of the Drac Theory Voker. Um, it, not because it's like bad or anything. Like, oh, it's a broken class. I, I'm just not a big fan of it. Like, the fantasy right. and everything. Mm. But even, even the fantasy of the Broken Isles. Uh, like just kind of go into a dragon island and no no go into space purgatory or anything oh, you know yeah. you know it's just space. yeah we're, we're we're going to a, a dragon island to kill dragons excellent feel like the yeah. hobbit yo yeah. like, i keep, like I keep we're, saying we're, that we're getting yeah. back to actual fantasy exactly i've said that in so many videos but it's true like we're going back to actual fantasy and this is nice because of it yeah and to me it's Woo, this Even guy. just Azeroth in general. Like when I like when I talk about BFA, like BFA wasn't great, but I actually enjoyed the aesthetic of BFA still, like the environments, the art style. I heard that. Uh, but like this feels like they're trying to go back to that old old fantasy RPG style feel, like the way they've uh, the talent trees and the professions and. Wait, look for a way to break your chain. Uh. Okay. Uh -oh. Maybe I. Was uh, how do you break the chain? I don't uh, know. Maybe walk him towards the boss, like so. It's like the boss is between you and the chain. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Ma maybe. I mean, <gasps> or maybe you make him Wait, jump yeah, on you. Oh yeah, broke my chain. Ah, okay, it. cool. Oh, cool. We yeah. got him, dude. Boom, dude. Get on my face. Woo! Come on, wow, Luke. Wow, wow, Two wow. gold. Sick. That's oh, more than sick. one. Dude, radical. It's like a kickflip. <laughs> I got six gold. Wow. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, this way, friends. Yeah. A door opened. Um, but yeah, I love the fact they went back to the old talent tree system. Yeah, dude, like classic WoW, man. Is ta you talk about mm -hmm. having an impact on the modern game. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it, it, finally and it's cool. professions, too. Yeah. You know, it's, it, you know, when I was making this Death Knight, I remember I was uh, choosing my talents. And one of the things is, like, with my Blood Death Knight right now, I have no like movement speed buff effects like i don't have wraith walk or death's advance or anything and i, I kind of feel like uh oh, maybe i should maybe i should have like gotten that like some you know movement speed stuff and i'm like ah well you know i'm not pvping on this guy i'm just going to be doing pve and you know but but it actually feels like you know like you know i made my build and i'm happy with it but you know it, it makes you think like hmm maybe i should have went with this maybe i should have went with that and it has that classic wow feel to it yeah like uh like the choices feel impactful in that regard because it makes you say, mm, but what if I had done this instead? You know, and yeah. I love that feeling. So and You're going to get the people at min-max and do whatever anyway. Oh, of course. Like, like, I think the most normal people are going to just have fun. Yeah, like, well, even when I was, like, streaming, you know, uh, and I'd had, like, my viewers and stuff, I'd always ask the question, like, do, do you guys min-max? Like, are you guys, like, do you follow the meta? Like, do you do this? And most people would say no. Like, even when I've, like, made YouTube videos and I've been like, hey, comment section, like, how many of you guys actually follow the meta? Well, most people will say they don't because mm -hmm. they're just like, no, I'd, I'd rather have fun than just follow a guide the entire time. Like, maybe yeah. they'll follow, like, a like a questing guide or something, like Zygor or, like, Joanna's, like, leveling guide or whatever. But, like, following, like, you know, like, oh, well, this is how you play the game, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of, like, your class and, like, you know, your fantasy. Like, it, I don't know. I don't think as many people follow the meta as uh, people think. If you do follow the meta and you're just like, oh, yeah, I just follow Icy Bane's guide and, you know, that's it. I mean, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this, but yeah. yeah. And it's not like wrong or anything. No, it's no, just, it's not wrong. Yeah. And it's still allow. I think it just allows you to play to your play style. And it feels like sure. if you level up, 
that's my biggest thing with the old talent system is when you level oh. up it felt like you earned something of like wow i got a talent point i can spend oh. that now and then the current ones were like oh i got a i leveled I, up i guess in 10 more levels yeah. i can spend my talent point like oh okay uh, i didn't i didn't even think about that you do you get a, a talent point every single level yeah now you do oh wow well, yeah because I, I leveled up a, a character to level five on the alpha mm -hmm. Because I wanted to see, like, you know, the new professions, like, and how they impacted low-level characters. Right. Uh, hint, hint, they, I mean, from what I saw, nothing has changed. Low-level oh. professions <laughs> still suck and are a waste of time to even bother with. Yeah. Fix that blizzard. Like, seriously, <laughs> make low-level professions relevant. It's great for new players. I mean, come on. Um, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I never thought about like getting him to 10 and getting that talent point every level and stuff. Like, oh, it's going to be awesome. Like leveling up ults and stuff. Yeah. I really, no, I would really like to nice. level a hunter in Dragonflight. Oh, yeah. Because I want to do that like fantasy, you know, of like being a hunter on the Dragon Isles. I'm a dragon hunter. Oh, like, yeah, uh, cool. and this like weird, you know, like magical foreign land that like we don't understand it fully. Like, that'd be so cool. Yeah, that would yeah. be really cool. Yeah. Um, I guess we go up here. I'm curious with professions. They said they were going to do like profession talent trees. Oh, yeah. They did say that. Yeah. So I'm curious how uh, that's going to work. Because I, I interviewed Ian and I was asking him like, mm -hmm. how, like, how's it going to work? And he was, because I was curious with engineering specifically. Because my mount farming tar and warrior is an engineer. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, it's going to be a little of both. Kind of like how, you know, I used to have goblin and gnomish engineering. Yep. So it's going to be kind of like that, and then a little bit kind of like full-on spec decisions, like how it's, mm. you know, I'm fire or frost or whatever. So it's like, uh, it's going to be nice because you can actually speci specify your profession to tailor what you want to do. So like, I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm curious as to like, oh, can I be an engineer that specifies in like portals or something? So I want to mm. port all over and farm mounts, or maybe I want to sure. make toys and shit. Like, I don't know, but like, I'm curious to see how it works. Cause I'm like, yeah. it at least has potential even down the line, which I think is promising. Also, uh, dragon riding is going to have talent points. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like I saw that's some of them, cool. uh, on a, like a YouTube video and it was, uh, talking about like, you know, You'll get uh, like six energy things for like one talent point. Another one allows you to like return to where you started your flight at in case like you messed up your flight and ran into a mountain like what you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, which, guys, it's it's pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, pretty. It I is. mean, when you're flying at 950 percent speed, those trees come out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, let's put it that way. Um, so it kind of got you gotta real get... fast. It starts going like. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's your sword. <laughs> yeah. So I. uh let me put down a bubble here. Help people out, maybe. Um, yeah, so, like, I was seeing, like, you know, the dragon riding talents, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, I'm curious, like, how do you earn them? Do you just earn them by leveling or by flying and completing those flying challenges you can fly or find around the world? Um, you know, uh, like, like what is it? And also, I'll say, like, the, the only thing that I truly love about the Drakthir class is they can dragon fly anywhere. Oh, yeah. Whereas nobody else can. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah, like so, I mean, flying around like in a old Azeroth, or there was like this one guy who did a video where he was um he was flying in Legion and he jumped off of High Mountain and was flying around as a track there, and I was like, ah, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> like, it, like it genuine, genuinely feels like you're flying around, and it's just it's awesome. So yeah. I, I'm actually like I'm very hopeful. For, for Dragonflight. I, I've been very impressed so far and very happy with it. Yeah. To say the least. Um, like, like, I've actually been having, dare I say it, fun. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Shadowlands, I, I, I can say, like, I mean, I was having fun, but with, like, a lowercase f. But I've been yeah, having I feel that. fun. Like, wow, mm. this is enjoyable. Like, I actually want to keep playing. Yeah, even like this dungeon, like, you know, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun just doing the dungeon, trying out tanking, you know, for the first time in forever. You know, it's yeah. it's nice. Yeah, you know? I've actually enjoyed this dungeon uh, so far, too. It's been pretty good. I, I think the lore of this dungeon, if I remember correctly, is that um, this was apparently formerly a Black Dragon stronghold. And while, you know, the Black Dragon flight has been, you know, getting, you know, killed by us, <laughs> you know, and they've been gone, you know, these... Uh, whatever these guys are, these uh, Kualashi people 
have sort of stepped in and taken over. And so now that the dragon flights have returned, we're kind of reclaiming the dragon isles. And even that story is cool. Like you've got these corrupt dragons we're fighting against that have kind of taken over the dragon spaces and, uh, you know, kind of bringing back kind of the importance of these demigods that are the dragon flights. Um, love it. Yeah, it is really cool. I mean, I'm just I'm just tired of being in space. <laughs> yeah, space or, you know, again, space purgatory or, you know, whatever. Like, mm. yeah, no, I, I hear you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even in even in Warhammer, like I was mentioning, I'm more of a Warhammer fantasy. Yeah. Sigmar type of person than a 40K person. I do have 40K armies. Yeah, but I just I prefer the medieval fantasy style stuff. I mean, I've even been playing like Lord of the Rings online again recently. I heard that was good. Uh, dude, Lord of the Rings Online is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's like kind of an older MMO. It kind of has a classic WoW vibe to it. Um, definitely more story-driven. Um, I, I would say, like... I, like, I, like, I could say if you've read the Lord of the Rings books, and that's... Very, I'm being very specific there. If you've read the books, like, <laughs> yeah, you'll right. love it. Uh, like, you'll love all the characters and how, like, the, the game's story, like, kind of fits into the the lore of the books and the story told through the novels. If you've just watched the movies, of course, you can enjoy it, too. But it's really for the book readers. Like, it really is. I actually have a video that's coming out. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll even already be out by the time that uh, this video comes out. But I'm actually talking about the Lord of the Rings TV series uh, that they're making. Um, oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm like gonna... a trailer for that. Yeah, just kind of like I'm making a video where I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts on it. Just because I just have some thoughts that I want to share that other people are not talking about, which I feel are mm -hmm. important. Um, yeah. So I wanted to make a quick video on that. So something we've been working on. Oh, that reminds me, uh, watch some Twitch prime bounty. <laughs> you watched Twitch bounty for Wait, uh, what? So, you know, Twitch has Twitch bounties. Sure. Yeah. So I did a Twitch bounty for some Amazon prime video thing. Sure. And it's this kid in bed. And he's reading Lord of the Rings. This kid who is dead? In bed. Oh, in bed. Sorry. He's like, this, this dead, dead kid. kid's reading Lord of the Rings. I was like, I'm just imagining this <laughs> corpse of a child holding a Lord of the Rings book. It's like, all right. Um, so he's reading in bed, and his mom comes in. And she's like, it's time for bed. And he's like, mom. And he's like, you can read. <laughs> she's like, you can read about your fairies tomorrow. And he's like, they're elves, mom. <laughs> they're elves. They're <laughs> Dude, that's exactly what I would have said. So, man, fuck you, bitch. Like, get out of my room. So then he ends up, like, going to a convention oh. or something, being an elf or so. I don't know. I don't remember, but, like, it was just funny. That's all I remembered was him being like, they're elf. Do, do you think we have to clean or clear the room? Ah, fuck it. Eh, I'm going to nah. put a mark on him. Yeah. And we're just going to pull him over this way, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> all right. Come over here, you fat... Let's see what I have for you. He's just hammering his anvil. Yeah, what a weapon. Uh oh, he's targeting me. Yeah, right. Like, because I'm the oh, highest wow. damage around. Pro uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right, there Trim we go. and punch. I love fruit punch. I made some excellent coffee earlier. It was great. Yeah, I make coffee every day. Yeah, dude. Love it. I have a dark roast coffee. So we're just gonna, I guess, shoot him, blast him, Crendor. I'm blasting. I'm dying. A volcanic axe. Ice block. Yeah, you can run over there. <laughs> oh, our healer's dead. What? what the, yeah, how, do you, how does the healer keep dying? Like, what are you doing? I'm gonna I don't bring know him what back. They're doing. Bringing him back. All right. Let me uh, hit him with that vampiric blood or whatever. What type of uh, coffee are you drinking? I always, I always drink dark roast. Nice. That's yeah. the right roast. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm just gonna... You know, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna go over here and just wail on him. Alright. Forget about it. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know... There we go. Uh, I'm coming. Wow. Fire, Come on, fire. rune blades. Let's go. Alright, he's blow half health. Blow 50. Yeah, yeah. More dots. More dots. Watch out for those things on the ground. Keep moving. This yep. is definitely yep. a you gotta keep moving kind of dungeon. There's stuff yeah, always on the a, floor. This That's, is a move. This is good move dungeon. Yeah. Not I complaining like though. This is this is good. What a yeah, weapon. I'm liking this. Woo. 
This feels like a good heroic dungeon. And yeah, I can see does. how they, they could make this into a very good mythic as well. Yeah. And I feel like it's got a good balance. It's like not too easy, not too difficult. Yeah, like nice. I, I, yeah, I feel like I'm paying attention like perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good sweet spot for like a normal heroic. Yeah. There it is, dude. Oh, uh, I Let's got no. Go. I, I literally got nothing. Not even a gold piece. I got nothing too. Also, oh. our our other guy died. See oh, these right. people? They're probably they're what probably are watching these? Like, Netflix how, or something. How you dying? Like man, it, it's dragon flat. Like come on, man. Me and Crendor are literally filming a video right now, getting distracted and stuff, and y'all will be dying. No make no sense. They're probably watching like the great. British Bake Off or something. Yeah, watching Gordon Ramsay like Hotel Nightmares or whatever, mm -hmm. which yeah, I was watching chatting. last night, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> you should have streamed on Just Chatting. That's all it is. Really? Yeah, people just watch Gordon Ramsay. What, what am I doing with my life? Why am I not just watching Gordon Ramsay on Twitch? Yeah, well, you're in a hot tub. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, do we go this way? I don't know. I don't know where to go. Did we go that way? <laughs> is, is there a way down over there? I don't know. No, that's like closed doors. Uh, let's kill these guys for right. experience points. Yeah, let's take them out. Oh yeah, look, there's a hole over here. Okay, oh, cool. Okay. I see it. I like the holes. Says, I think we go back to the middle. I think we go back to your mom. Yeah. Bitch, <laughs> go back to your mom. <laughs> Friggin' twenty dollar corner working hoe bag. <laughs> your mom. <laughs> How do you like the mage so far? I don't think they've even changed the mage at all. I don't I, even I, have my new talents yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I literally said the old talent system. Oh, oh no! It's a drop again. Oh boy. Oh wait, but you can kind of catch that ledge, so it's kind of cool. Uh oh, I'm burning. Meh. Warlord's Ugh. Saga. Wait, okay. you say you watch Hotel Nightmares? Yeah, or like Hotel Hell or whatever. And then there's Kitchen Nightmares, and then Hell's oh, Kitchen. Oh, yeah. I think the Hotel one is literally just Kitchen Nightmares, but in a hotel. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Man, I, I, uh, I watched that while I was doing... What was it? Uh, Firelands Mount Runs. This place reminds well, me of the Firelands. I was tied in the Firelands. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we just go straight to the boss? Look at all this treasure. I like the uh, man again. Reference to classic fantasy. Look at the dra like the dragons have hoarded all yeah. this treasure. Dragon treasure. Dragon treasure. Dragon yeah, it's treasure. Mr. Pandaria guy. <laughs> it's almost time for dragon treasure. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see what he can do, shall we? Hello, Dragon Tales and Troyer. Yeah, dude, I, dude, I, in my last video, I put a Dragon Tales joke in it. Really? So that's all what this expansion is. It's just, it's just inspired by Dragon Tales and Spyro the Dragon. That's literally the first thing that you do in the Drakthir starting area. You're going around and freeing frozen dragons, just like in Spyro. Dude, last time I played Spyro, I got motion sickness. Oh, really? Like the yeah, original like PS1? No, like I played the remastered one. Oh, uh, okay. And then I tried to finish it, and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if it gives me a sickness again. And I got nauseous, and I was like, dude, I gotta take a break. I literally walked downstairs, I was like, ugh. Wait, ugh. you cast Magma Shield. Search the gold for magic items. Oh, Search the shit. gold, Crendor. The gold, I found it. Did you? Digging? I found uh, some gold. Inflicts okay. arcane damage. I'm gonna well, go throw, throw it at him. At him. Eh. Cool, do it again. Eh. eh. Dragon nice. friends, throw get, <laughs> throw some else at him. I gotta pick it up. I'm digging. I got right. wand of negation. Inflicts some arcane damage. Cool. Yeah, negate it. Boom. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay you ever, uh, <laughs> the last time you watched Dragon Tales was you were like ten years old. Dude, I never actually watched Dragon Tales. <laughs> Dude, I was I remember being a child, and I was like probably like two years old or something, sitting on the couch, right. And my mom walks in and she's like, oh, you know, come on, little Nixium, it's time to watch your favorite show. And she turns on the TV and it's freaking Barney. And I looked at my mom and I was like, mom, I'm too old for this shit. Put on a man show. And she was like, oh, sorry. And then she put on the magic school bus. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude. 
<laughs> well, I watched, <laughs> I watched Dragon Thing. Okay. And I'm sorry. there's an episode where they uh, they're naked. talking about making mistakes and how it's okay to. <laughs> <laughs> Realizing you said uh, <laughs> it's an episode where they make mistakes and they keep trying to like bake this cake or some shit and they give them the ingredients. They're like, ah, oh, I goofed it, and it's like, that's okay. It's all right to make mistakes. And I was like, actually, sometimes it's not all right to make mistakes. What if you're doing yeah. surgery and you make a mistake and you're like, ah, eh, sorry, oh. I made a mistake. Now your organs are messed up. You know? Oh. Those children were probably a mistake, and that's why the parents are always arguing, and the kids have to live in the fantasy land that is uh, Dragon Tales. It is a possibility. That's my head cannon. We did it, by the way. We did do it, and I got Fury Forged plating. Yeah, I will wow. say that I feel like the last boss we did, the Weaponsmith guy, was way more interesting than this boss. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, I thought looting the gold was kind of cool, but. I feel like else he, was kind of dumb. Yeah, like I feel like he needs a, another mechanic. Like uh, it's like, yeah. oh, loot gold, and then it's just tank and spank. Maybe loot gold, it has tank and more spank. in non or harder difficulties. Yeah, to be fair, like you know, there was a uh, like on the map. If you put your mouse over the Warlord Sarga thing, there's a PH thing there. I don't know what mm -hmm. PH stands for. I don't care what it stands for, but it probably means that it's like still under construction. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody knows what PH stands for, comment below. Thank you. Or it's like your pH balance. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be too acidic or too, uh, the other thing. Alkaline. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Cast, cast another Harry Potter spell at me or something. Alkaline. <laughs> Alkaline Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you here? Oh! Oh, yeah, there's like mobs up there. Be careful. <laughs> so what'd you think? What's your I review? Had a good time. I would say that was a solid, uh, I give it like an A minus. An A minus? Yeah. I'll give it a, uh, a B plus. Yeah, that's pretty I was, good. I almost did B plus. Yeah, I think that was, that was pretty good. I think, uh, just to throw some more, like another mechanic or two on the final boss, because that didn't feel like a final boss. That felt like the first boss. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, but again, it might still be under construction. Yeah. So, which it would make perfect sense. Yeah. How did I do tanking? Did great, right? I think he did pretty good. We didn't die. Well, I mean, some people died, but... Yeah, but that was their fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not our fault. No. Yeah. We didn't die at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did fantastic. I think your DPS was great. You were the top of the charts. Oh, yeah. I think I was top of the charts, 100%. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh... Well, I guess we can call it here. I mean, we're, we're done, so... Yeah. We got to talk about a little bit of YouTube and stuff. I mean... You know, you're working on more Warhammer Crendor stuff. You're making your pointless top tens. I'm making my little machinima bits, and I got a lot of videos planned for the next, uh, for a while, man. I got, like, 15 videos, like, planned out that I want to do. Oh, my God, um, you got a lot. Yeah, I've already got, like, the scripts written for probably, like, I don't know, like, five of them or something, and so it's just one at a time, one at a time. Pointless top um, ten, I only got, like, a little bit ahead. I'm like, I know I'm going to do the new alpha zones, and then, you know, probably just... I, I got like too many things I got to do for pointless top 10. Nah, I hear you, man. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, the, the, the coming up with the ideas and the writing isn't that, you know, that hard, but you know, it's like just the editing and the gathering, the footage and everything and yada, yada. And then of course, you know, oh, now yeah. <laughs> we're putting these machinima bits at the beginning of each thing. So that takes a little while to edit. Um, oh, yeah. so yeah, it might be like, I, I definitely ain't going to be no Bellular. Like, it's like Blizzard announced this thing. Bellular and his entire team puts out a video about it in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, mine will be like maybe a week and a half late, but it'll be a good video. It'll be worth watching. You know what I mean? I'll make a funny yeah. joke in it and you'll go. Worth the wait. <laughs> That's right. It'll be about Dragon Tales. <laughs> That's right. Dragon Tales. <laughs> oh, why did we not talk about it? We got This is the best way to end this video. Yeah, right. Big announcement. Huge announcement. Mm -hmm. Crendor is now officially in World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you finally got your own NPC. I finally got it. It is a humanoid named Krend the Pointless, and they mm -hmm. have a weather-beaten fishing hat on mm -hmm. and a bunch of shitty leather belts or something. <laughs> 
Just like you in real life with your fishing exactly. pole and your and your leather belt. <laughs> I wear seven leather belts wherever I go. That's right. Um, which is great. I was like, dude, what the shit? Someone's like, hey, you're in the game. And I was like, dude, neat. Yeah. So I don't know where it is. I don't know how how they're in the game, but I mm-hmm. guess they're in the game somehow. I guess we'll find it eventually. But I was happy with my shitty belt they had in the it's like the great belt of the Krendor. And yeah, Pandaria. I was like, all right, I got an item in the game. Oh, yeah, but now, about that. Now I'm actually in it. Well, like shit, dude. Man, how cool would it be if they put Nixium and Mukluk in the Dark Moon Fair? <sighs> That'd be pretty sick. Be pretty you know, cool. that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <sighs> Blizzard. <Yeah. laughs> you know, just you know, hint, hint, idea, idea. Come on now. Yeah, that'd be, need to start that'd a be, petition. That'd be pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um. Guys, uh, go subscribe to Crendor on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Um, please subscribe to me, Nixium. Consider becoming a member and supporting the channel. Get to put your characters in Machinima videos. Um, it's one of the rewards. Since we're making Machinima, you know, why not put the audience in the Machinimas, right? Like the supporters and stuff. Yeah. So, there we go. Um, and then, uh... Yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. It's been a, a long time since we've talked to Crendor on here, so hopefully they liked it. Yeah. So if you guys want to see more, you know, just leave a comment. Well, I haven't Woo. said this in a long time, but... Crendor? Yep. Give them the final word. Slay you. <laughs>